Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and I'm so, so happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to be DIYing anthropology decor. This is one of my favorite types of videos to do because I just love the challenge of figuring out how I can recreate expensive items on the anthropology website for much, much less and then sharing it with you guys. So I chose three items today to recreate off of the anthropology website and I put my own little spin on a couple of them, but I'm excited to share it with you guys. I think I got pretty close to the originals. I'll do my best to either share a photo of it or link it down below so you guys can see and I'll let you decide and let me know how you think I did. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, the first one is this gorgeous speckled candle that I saw on their website. And I have these tea tins that I save whenever I finish this Harney and Sons tea. So I thought that this would be perfect for it. So I just gave it a couple coats of a matte black spray paint, which I think instantly makes something look so much more chic. And I love that the color inside the tin is still like that orangey color. And then I wanted to add the speckling. So in order to do that, I just mixed a little bit of water with some white acrylic paint. And then I took a small paintbrush and I just hit it um, a couple inches away from the tin so that the paint would splatter onto the tin. So basically you just want to mix around your water and paint and then tap off a lot of the excess. And then you can take your brush, hit it and just sort of see that speckling pattern go right onto it. And you wanna hit it fairly lightly cause you don't want like big drops of paint to hit it. You want like this really nice light speckled pattern. And you can practice this on just a piece of paper before you actually do it on your tin or whatever you're using so that you know the technique and you can get it the way that you like it. So while that was all drying, I melted some candles on the stove just in a little pot of water so that I could get my wax. And then I took a wick, I get these on Amazon, I'll link them down below if you wanna get some for yourself. And then I just dipped it into the wax and stuck it in the bottom of the tin and tried to center it as best as I could. Next, I took a little stick, you could use like a skewer or anything like that, and wrap the wick around it so that it will keep it in place. Then take your wax and just pour it right into the tin. And this was perfect because these were some candles that were the same scent, but that I'd burned down quite a bit. So I just mixed them together and they filled up the tin perfectly to the top. Then I set the whole thing aside and allowed it to cool. And once it was ready, I just trimmed the wick and I had a gorgeous candle. So I thought that this wall hanging was super cool, but it was almost $200. So I'm gonna make it for a lot cheaper. I have this pocket folder and I just took this little planter here and I traced the bottom of it so that I had a circle. Then I cut that out and then I went ahead and folded that in half. So basically you wanna create two half circle shapes. So once I folded that in half, then I just took my scissors and cut it one more time so that I had these two half circles. And I'm using this pocket folder because it's a little bit thicker than paper, but you could also use cardboard or cork or really any um, kind of thicker material that will hold its shape. So once I had my two pieces cut out, then I took a smaller candle holder and I traced half of that onto each half circle. So you essentially wanna do another cutout so that you have sort of like a rainbow shape. So I went ahead and did that on both of my little pieces. So now you can see that it looks like this. Then for the two circles, I just used this little spray bottle because the size was perfect on the bottom and I traced that and I cut out two circles of the same size. So here you can kind of see, I've laid it out how it will be hanging, um, just cause I wanted to make sure that everything looked all right size wise. And then I went ahead and painted them with some acrylic paint. So as far as the circles went, I decided to keep them gold like the original. And this took about two to three coats of this gold paint because it wasn't very thick. And then for the other shapes, I used this thicker rose gold color. It's not exactly the same as the original, but I don't really like using red in my decor. So I decided to use this instead. I also decided to double up the layers. So I cut another um, of each of the shapes and I used double-sided tape to stick it onto the back to make it a little bit thicker, similar to cardboard. 
Then I also decided to add some beads. So I just threaded on some embroidery thread to a yarn needle and I started with my bottom circle and I pushed the needle through the bottom uh, from the front to the back. And then I did the same thing but I flipped it over and I pushed from the back to the front and this way you'll have the yarn or thread running along the back side so you won't see it like this. Then I added on my first bead and then I picked up my neck shape and did the same thing. I pushed the needle through from the front to the back, pulled the string through and then went from the back to the front and pulled it through. And then I added another bead and I continued this whole process with each of my shapes until I got to the top. Once I got to the top, I made a knot so I could hang it up and I also did the same thing on the bottom and that's it. Okay, this last one is not quite anything in particular that I saw on the website, but just sort of inspired by some of the lanterns they had. So I took this just plain glass jar and then some twine and I started to hot glue it at various points around the jar. And I really just created a very abstract pattern with the twine. So I'm kind of inspired by like the line drawings and geometric shape type decor that's been really popular lately. So I didn't wanna do anything that was like very patterned or symmetrical. I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit abstract. So I just continued wrapping it all over at various points and gluing it down. And I really like the way that it turned out. I think it's really unique and you can't mess it up. It's like impossible to mess up, but I think it looks really cool. And you can add a candle inside or some fairy lights. And then you just have like this really cool little lantern that you can put in your decor or outside on your patio, whatever you want. 